So, hi guys, so it's me, Nicolette Mashile, and today I am speaking to some of your familiar faces that you love in the beautiful game of soccer, right? It is South African soccer players. I've got Brilliant here and I've got Gabuza, and we're talking about their first time making financial decisions. It's going to be a funny one, it's going to be a cracking one, but you guys always know that we're going to bring you content, we're going to be dropping the gems, and we're going to be giving you financial tips, right? So, but remember that none of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody who is certified and registered with the FSCA. So let's hear what Brilliant had to say. Alright, so Brilliant, please tell us about the first time you went to apply for a credit card, did you know what you were doing or did you just want a credit card? Um, basically, um, I didn't know what I was actually doing um, until upon four years. Um, okay. and then I understood everything because um, when you go to... to <sighs> because a, a garage when you want to hire a car, rent a car, you go to the airport of which you want to rent a car or anything, um, they would always tell you that there's a 30 day notice for you for your money to come back when using um, a check card. Mm. So it was upon me that I should actually use a credit card. Until I understood one thing, um, and uh, uh, fortunately for me, um, I have a brother who who's in the corporate and he understands so much about credit cards um just everything about corporate um then he explained one thing to me um he explained um if you have to borrow money when you borrow money from the bank the charges that they have to bring to you are so high mm. but if you have to take you no know, if they had to take your money upon any investment that you can do in life, um, the rate is so less. So me understanding upon everything in the credit, actually it's working better for me because um, I have to get into a position and I need to put money. There's so much money now, the bank is actually losing upon benefiting because there's so much money in there upon the the credit card, mm -hmm. then my actual, because they, they, they borrow you money, but if you, you borrow the money upon, same charges apply. So basically what you are doing is, instead of Uxavens is a credit card, Uxavens is a email, a bank, you put your own money into the credit card, and then yeah. you use your own money. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's like that. But you need, you need to be smart about it. You need, you need, you need, you need to go to the bank and then speak. Uh, uh, unfortunately, most people they don't have maybe um, a What do they call this? Um, personal advisors, financial advisors. Yes, financial advisors. Mm. They they don't have that. Mm. So a lot of even them they they get to an understanding of they tell you this because at the end of the day they need to benefit out of you. Now you need to get to a position of understanding more and then so that you can actually manipulate the system because if you understand the system more, you can actually get to a point of mani manipulating the system more than itself. Mm. Yes. So, so let's quickly summarize. Your first time of getting a credit card was because you could not use a debit card to hire a car. So that's why you got a credit card. Yeah, yeah, it, it was basically like that because I'm, I'm, I'm from Durban. I'm, I'm originally from Durban because of um, when, when I travel from, from Joburg and then I have to drive my car from, 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 from Joburg to Durban, um, I always get fines. Yeah. Sometimes I will be threatened by the police that they take on arrest me because of the speed. I love, <laughs> I love speeding. I love speeding. Um, so um, someone gave me an advice. And you know what? When you go to Durban, Actually, just fly, okay. and then you book a car. Uh -huh. Then you have a car there, so that you can. Because it's gonna be like four to five days. Then you come back. So necessarily, you shouldn't even get yourself there driving. But then again, I had a car there, but my father took it. 
Okay, we'll talk about your father on another day. Ah, in jail. Come on, jail. But The last question: Would you suggest that people only use cash for obtaining into, or must they get to understand the secret of seven zaganjani? Um, I mean, I mean, if if the younger me would actually say, yeah, I use cash, but the more wisdom I got in life mm. is basically understanding that most people, they, we, we have different lifestyles and different ways of term, in terms of understanding life as itself. Mm. So I can never really say, use cash. Mm. Last question, do you save or invest? I save. Do you save? Why do you save? Um, I, I, would prefer, I, I prefer saving. I, I personally I prefer saving. I don't. And I think I've I've been gang fucked by so many. <laughs> okay. So many, so many <laughs> corruptions. Get into you been gang fucked. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your experience. Forex. Yeah, forex. Mm -hmm. Um, it's actually. It's actually. Because I'm sure you guys get, especially you as soccer players, get uh, targeted a lot by forex traders. You need, you need, you need, you need, you need to, to have a different understanding. Um, you need to love it. Okay. You, you need to, and and I'm gonna be honest and true. You need. You can never find in 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 twelve months, you only get paid, and they are right when they say this. You only get paid twelve times. Yeah. That is a robbery. That is a robbery. I, I, I hate I hate that. Now you need to find different sources of income. Yeah. And anyone is different in this world. Mm. Whatever that you do in life, as long as it brings you income. Because even a prostitute would come to you and tell you that this is why I'm doing one, two, three. Mm. Okay. But let's come back to, to Forex. I I don't I don't I don't have anything against them. I totally, I've, I've got friends that, that do it. Mm. But personally, no, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It's not something you would do? Yeah. Is there a reason why? No, there is no reason why. Um, there, there, there are people who are doing it. And they are good at it. They are good at it. But for me, I need, I need because even when, when, when I grow up, um, I've never actually get into a stage of understanding economics. Okay. To sense. everything. So for me now, Right now, I, I need to, to understand all the numbers and everything. So it, I've got a daily bread I need to focus on. Yeah. So for me, and then again, I get to numbers. One, this, that, this, that. This, no, this time. It's going to drain a lot for me. Yeah, that's true. So I, I, I need to balance everything accordingly. So you believe that everyone should do what they understand. So if we have income, invest a income. If we have a scorecard, Get your income from soccer. If you as forex and economist, get your money from there. It's definitely like that because no one. If if you if you sitting in a room upon seven people that are there, and you think you are the smartest, you are the dumbest. <laughs> true, very true. We are all intelligence in life. Yeah. As long as you understand that, because. One is a scientist, one is in corporate, mm. one is playing soccer, one is swimming. All, they've got something special in their life. Sure. So how dare you say which one, because the world is evolving in one direction and you think that this is the only way that the world should actually evolve. Mm. So it's wrong for you to decide like that, but how dare am I to say it's wrong because that is how you understand life. Eish, what a difficult question. Thank you so much. That was a <laughs>